The STEM Passport for Inclusion is a programme of activities that really tries to make sure that every girl across Ireland gets the opportunity to become STEM prepared. And they graduate at the end with the ability to go on, apply them skills in lots of different areas. What's innovative about our programme is that education and industry are coming together to ensure the future of STEM is secure in Ireland. This program provides an opportunity for young women to experience the wonders of STEM and all that can bring. The hope is that over the next three or four years, everyone in the country gets access to some sort of dream space STEM opportunity. Katrina approached me about the STEM Passport programme. I was just so excited about it immediately. She said to me, this program is all about helping girls to gain access to STEM programmes in universities and making that just easier for them to do and to encourage them along their way. And I thought, I absolutely want to be involved in that because I feel I would be able to make a real difference. The DreamSpace team worked really closely with Maynooth University and Munster Technological University to make sure that the types of skills and knowledge that will be required um, in STEM courses in those universities. We made sure that the activities were engaging but also did develop um, these young women's skill sets in the lab days, so there's three lab days in total. Um, and then also that they got to do independent work at home outside of the lab days, which they had to complete as well. These young women in post-primary school are getting a university accreditation, a level six accreditation. I took part in the STEM passport because I wanted to see what I was capable of doing. I was hoping to be capable of trying new things outside my comfort zone and developing new skills. You learn so much during the three days and during your assignments and from your mentors and from your peers. STEM Passport is an opportunity that lets you explore different areas to do with coding and AI and future job opportunities as well. I develop my creativity and my teamwork and also just my patience as well. Because with coding, that's one of the main things I had to learn was patience. We have women who are engineers, who are administrators, who are scientists, who are developing the future of technology. They are all acting as mentors for these young women. It gave me the opportunity to meet women working in STEM industries and to see that anything is possible for girls. When she was talking to me, I just thought maybe I could do something like this. I could go to college and pursue a STEM career. Working with the girls, it's actually inspiring as a person who is mid-career because they have such energy and passion about thinking about their future. I was actually blown away by how clear they were in where they wanted to go and what they wanted to do. I'm so, so happy that I got the opportunity to find out that the paths of STEM that I knew weren't the only paths of STEM that are actually out there for girls. You don't have to be like really advanced in it to begin. Like I wasn't advanced in it at all and now I'm here with a level six. I think taking part in the STEM Passport for Inclusion really showed me that STEM is for me and that I can do it and I can believe in myself and anything is possible. To a girl who is willing to take part in the STEM Passport, I would say to go for it because you never know what you can achieve. The main thing that I took out of being part of the STEM Passport program is that if you put your mind to it, you can achieve anything that you want to. Even though it might sound cringy, if you go out and do it, then you'll never know what doors can open for you. I thought I could never do something like this. I had never completed anything coding related computer science. So when I look at myself today and seeing that I actually completed the program and have gotten my certificate, it gives you a sense of hope that a girl like me or everyone else that actually has never done something like this can go out into the future and make a difference and really become a woman in STEM. We know that these young women have the ability and the capability to change the future of STEM. We believe that with the STEM Passport for Inclusion, the possibilities for these young women are endless. This no longer is a nice to have in Irish education, it's a must. I'm already looking to September and thinking, God, there are 40 girls that potentially could arrive onto campus and that I'll be seeing going into lectures and on the halls and potentially being involved in the societies and the different events and activities that happen across the campus. And that gives me uh, a lot of hope.